Welcome, welcome. In this video, we are going to go over the basics of IBIS and OCT working from the inside out. We're going to identify all of the layers, the lumen, the catheter, the wire, and this is really how you want to start each and every IBIS and OCT image you look at. So remember with the technique, we start from the inside, the innermost, not necessarily being the center, but being where the catheter is. So Almost in every picture, every frame, you should have a catheter and a wire. The wire artifact may or may not always be there, kind of depending on what frame you're looking at, but the catheter should always be there. So the catheter is a like perfect concentric circle. So if you see, this is a pretty perfect circle. You have some halos out here that we like to call that, um, but you definitely have a perfect concentric circle. So that is the IVIS catheter or OCT if we're talking about OCT. So do you remember at least the normal order of Vestal layers? The centermost being the lumen, and we had a cool acronym, LIMA, Lumen Intima Media Adventitia. Okay, L-I-M-A, LIMA. So the centermost, we kind of look at color changes and different shading when it comes to IVIS and OCT. So you definitely have this catheter and then immediately outside of the catheter, now over here it's a little condensed, so look over here we have room. The next color change should be the lumen because the catheter sits inside of the lumen. And then you can kind of see like all of this is pretty much the same shade and morphology. So all of that would be the lumen. Now, do you see the next color change where it goes to a brighter white and kind of a different texture? So you should see it goes from kind of this texture you're seeing here to this one that you see here that actually looks like tissue because it is tissue and it's a little brighter white. So that is the start of the intima. Okay, so if I were to kind of circle it here, like all this is the intima, all this is the intima. And remember, this you're not going to see everything in one frame all the time, which is why you kind of toggle between frames. You see it's a little a blurry here, a little blurrier here. That's okay, right? But can you see that first white line? That is the intima. Now, remember L-I-M-A, the M stands for media, and the media is darker, right? It's kind of like a sandwich. You have white, a darker black, and then white again. So that middle part, that darker black band, that is the media. And why is it darker than the intima? Because it's vascularized. So remember, blood kind of turns up darker black on IVIS, so this is the media. And then the next color change where it changes back to white that is the adventitia, okay? So this would be intima, this would be the media black band, and then this would be the adventitia and the lumen. So if I were to size this vessel, I would trace out the media. Okay, we measure what I call media to media, the external elastic lamina, which I'll show you more on the OCT side of things, but this is how you would measurement. And then if I was doing a quick diameter, you know, to kind of perpendicular diameters here, you would have, remember each white mark is one. So this is like one, two, three, four point five that way. And then marks are down here, that's okay. This isn't quite a full one, but neither is that. So we'll say this is one, two point five, another point five is three, so maybe 3.75 that way. There you go. So that is, this is a normal healthy vessel. So what you're really looking for in a healthy vessel is that there's no real space between the vessel layers. So it literally goes intima, media, adventitia. There's no space between them. That's a nice big lumen. And again, vessel sizing wise, that depends what vessel you're in. We don't have that context here, but this is a pretty healthy vessel and we should be happy with that, okay? They don't have any plaque or anything. Now let's shift over to OCT. So first we're gonna look at a normal OCT, and really you're gonna use the same concepts that you use for IVIS as far as working from the inside out, right? You're gonna have a catheter, you're gonna have a wire, you're gonna have a lumen, intima, media, adventitia, okay? But we won't go that fast. So in the center, or really the concentric circle, should be the catheter, right? In this case, the OCT catheter. Then there's a wire. Now what you notice about this wire is it's not always super close to the lens. Sometimes it's out here, but it's way more distinct. It's gonna look like what we call a comet. Okay, so you have kind of the ring of the, the what is this called? Arc of the comet, and then the tail, 
okay? And you're gonna have that, like you can even see it in the picture down here. Then you're gonna have the lumen. So the lumen is gonna be nice and dark, right? Because in this case, you use a contrast and that's why sometimes you get a little bit of this haziness here in reflection, because this is contrast. But this is the lumen. Let me get something so it stays. Catheter, wire, lumen, lumen, lumen. So now the next color change, right? Same idea that we did with Ivis. The next color change where it changes to this yellow is the start of what? The intima, okay? Then how do you know the media? So you're gonna look at color changes again and it is still gonna be darker. So it's gonna be yellow dark red, reddish, orange, and then yellow again. And remember, that would be intima, media in the middle, and then the adventitia in the outermost. So now this is a very healthy vessel. There's not a lot of space between the three layers. Okay, the lumen is nice and large, but I would say this is the media. And again, sometimes I have to use my imagination out here. All right. Now, this is where we talked about kind of the external elastic membrane, okay, external elastic lamina. Now, on a, a microscopic scale, what you're looking at is this section is the intima, right? Well, there's more layers than that to a vessel, right? You have endothelium, I'm sorry, you have endothelium over here, then you have the internal um, membrane, then you're going to have this internal elastic membrane and external elastic membrane that kind of wall the media all right and the media would be in between the two now this is you know sometimes fractions of a millimeter of difference it depends how thick the, me the media is but if you had a very thick media let's just say like all of this was the media for a second and i was measuring a stent here that would be a very big difference from here to here. So that's why when you're being trained in OCT, they'll say measure from the external elastic membrane, which means the outer edge of the media versus putting your markers here in the middle. So let's use like this as an example. Can you see kind of the dark band around? This is the media, okay? So the difference would be, let me measure from the, the internal for a second. So let's say I was like, oh, well, that's, you know, the start of the media, but where I actually want you to measure is the external elastic membrane. Okay, that would actually be out to the green for your stent sizing. So that's why it's important to understand that just so you're measuring accurately. I know it does it automatically, but you can move the markers. You just wanna make sure it's the right place, especially if you have a really thick media. Um, it could be a millimeter of a difference, which does make a difference as far as diameter. So keep that in mind. But while we're on this example, let's label. So we start from the center catheter right? Wire, the wire artifact. You have the lumen, you have the intima where it starts, you have the media, and then you have the adventitia, which is still the yellow out there. Now, if you just take a, a look here, you see one, two, three vessel layers, but here not so much, right? It's a little hazy. So what you're actually looking at is what plaque looks like on OCT. So if this is the intima and this is the media, right? You see that bark black band. Remember what we said, what's in between? In between the intima and the media, this is where plaque develops. So what that means is all of this, it's just heterogeneous plaque, but it's still plaque nonetheless. And then on OCT, it just looks like a very thick intima. What you are looking for in a healthy segment is like this, where the vessel um, layers are very close to each other. But if you're starting to see this kind of thicker looking intima, all of this yellow, that is the soft plaque. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want more, go ahead and subscribe and hang out with us another time.